Hello everyone. Once again, this is Calvin Butler with the RBBS Logistics Learning Center and the National Dispatches Network. Uh, happy Memorial Day. Okay, everyone. Uh, this is the day that we uh, choose this, 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 this weekend, well, Monday would be the day, but this weekend we're celebrating our fallen soldiers, those individuals who took up arms to defend the Constitution and our constitutional rights and and or to defend America's interests in foreign lands or whatever the case may be, or those who fought against tyranny and, um, and oppression by dictators who wanted to rule um, with just their word and not have anyone else say so. Uh, sounds kind of familiar, don't it? Uh, but anyway, <laughs> we give honor to those people who actually fought against that and, get, and paid the ultimate price. Um, I was in the military for, uh, oh, I did two, ter uh, two terms in the military with a combat unit, 10th Mountain Division. To all my 10th Mountain soldiers, how y'all do? I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. We will always be brothers up there at Fort Drum, New York. Y'all know how y'all do it. I know there's a lot of them down, that was down in Kandahar, um, and, and that was one of the hot spots in Afghanistan. So, you know, you know my heart goes out to um, those brothers that lost their lives. Um, especially from the 10th Mountain Division, even way back in the Korean War, a lot of y'all don't know nothing about that. I don't really know anything about it. That was before my time. But that's where the 10th Mountain Division got their start, and, and y'all didn't know this. That's where they, that, that's where they got their start. It, it, it was cold in Korea um, during the Korean War, and they were one of the units that was on the front lines that, 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 that pushed forward into the Korean War, and they lost heavy losses. A lot of it to frostbite. So that's where they got the, you know, the term, you know, uh, winter soldiers, you know, I don't know if y'all know where that term comes from, y'all see it on what you call it, y'all see it on marbles and all that stuff, but, that, but that's an actual reference to that, to 10 Mountain Soldiers, and they call them winter soldiers, you know, they train in cold weather training, uh, you know, 20, 30 um, degrees below zero in Fort Drum, New York, one of the coldest spots on the, you know, um, in, in America. And that's where they train at, and that's where we, and that's what we used to train at. So I want to give a shout out to all those soldiers. Uh, Brigadier General uh, William Springer was our uh, was our um, battalion uh, commander. I want to give a shout out to him. They used to call him Jumper. Those of you in the 10th Mountain Division, you know who I'm talking about. Who? All right, to the top. <laughs> all right. So uh, happy Memorial Day, and. Uh, be sure to you know, take a moment to give thanks to all those soldiers that died for you to live in a free country. All right, with that being said, let's move on. All right, today's episode, first of all, we want to give a shout out to everyone who has joined us today. We're going to go ahead and do our roll call and welcome everybody to our broadcast. And today's broadcast we're going to be is going to be what our platform has to offer brokers. We're going to be uh, pitching and we're not pitching. We're going to be letting um, brokers know why they should join our platform, what our platform has to offer them. And we've got some interesting stuff from brokers who are part of our platform. They're going to be we cleared the way with VOT and everything so that we can now start reposting their loads to our network. So all of our network members now, our dispatchers, our brokers and everything, they're going to be getting a flood of loads that are going to be coming to you all. They're going to be posted in the chat groups. They're going to be posted in the back office site. They're going to be posted onto our message board. So you all are now, as, 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 as dispatchers, are going to start receiving um, loads that are going to be sent into us by brokers every single day. Okay? Um, we're, we're getting that set up now. We're trying to um, create a space onto our website where we can properly present that, where you all can go in and access those loads at your leisure. Okay. Now, this will only be for subscription members. I'm, I'm, hey, <laughs> you know, we gotta, you know, we gotta, you know, we, you know, we gotta reward those people who are paying their subscription. If you're not a subscription member, you probably won't have access to these loads. And that's what we're trying to work out. We're trying to work out a way that we can present them on, you know, in our back office site, so that our subscription members can have access to them at will. Now. If a subscription member chooses to share those loads with a non-subscription member, I can't do anything about that. I, I, can't, I don't run their business because no one works for us. We just provide the tools and resources and the access. All right? All right. But let's go ahead and see who we got today. And today we have, 
Of course, at the top of the list, we have Charles Mundy. Hey, Charles, how's it going? Glad to see you here today, early, bright on this, on this Memorial Day. As y'all know, Charles Mundy has his own platform. Um, check him out at Exodus Logistics. Um, you can look him up on Facebook. You can go to Google. And, you know, he's all over the place now. So, 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 so check him out. He has his own platform. Um, very, 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 very nice platform. He does a lot of good things. Uh, uh, he has daily uh, spot training. Um, and he, that's something you don't see very often. I can't do daily spot training. I just got too much going on. <laughs> but I, so, so, so I commend him for making himself available every single day for daily spot training. <laughs> I don't know how you do it, Charles, but you know, hey. You know, <laughs> you got it going on with that. So, um, you know, for those of our students who, who need that type of daily, daily hands on and guidance and, you know, and, 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 and you know, and kind of being led through things, you know, seek him out. Uh, his platform is very nice. It's very affordable. And, um, hey, I think you'll like it. All right. We also have today, we have Sir Jonathan Williams. Sir Williams, how are you today? Uh, Jonathan, are you from Britain? I mean, I always I see that Sir Jonathan Williams. You know, is is that an official title or just a self um, a self proclaimed title? <laughs> but either way, we thank you for joining us. It is always a pleasure and an honor. We have Aaron Flippin who is on with us today. Mr. Flippin, thank you for joining us. We appreciate you. Uh, thank you, time. Charles. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right, for joining us. Al, we have Al on the on the line today. Thank you, Mr. Kevin D. Whitaker. I think uh, you just joined us not long ago, but I really, really thank you for joining us. Um, Tanya, Miss West, where have you been? <laughs> it's been a long time since I've seen you pop up. <laughs> Glad you reconnected with us. <laughs> we have Sean J. Uh, Sean J. is on the line so far, and we got others who are joining. We're about five minutes into our broadcast. So we got others who will be joining us shortly. All right, let's go ahead and start sharing our screen. Let's go ahead and share our screen. Select all. I want to show. I want to show the photos. <laughs> Somebody give me some feedback. Can everybody see my screen? We can see it. All right. Great, 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 great. Yes. Uh, oh, Sir Jonathan said, nah, my mom just gave gave it to me. So that is your actual name. That's, hey, y'all like that who get ready to have kids? Check this out. His actual name, his legal name is Sir Jonathan Wiggins. Okay, so that, that means that everybody that approaches him, I like that. Your mom was thinking, you know, put some put some respect on that. <laughs> yeah, put some respect on that. <laughs> yeah, he says, and it's on the ID and all. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> so, 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 <laughs> the, uh, look, so when the popo pulls you over, he he approaches you, he comes to your window, and he say, uh, Mr. Uh, Jonathan, and he say, sir, <laughs> he go, huh? Uh, my name is Sir. <laughs> I like that. If you ever go to court, the judge got to call you Sir. <laughs> that is good. I like that. Um, I might consider doing that with my, you know, if I have a son. <laughs> so, yeah, that's usually when they get the cuffs <laughs> out. Exactly. <laughs> what? I got to call this man Sir. <laughs> all right, all right. All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and get this thing kicked off. All right, as you, as always, remember the rules. If you have a question, unmute yourself. If you have background noise, um, if you're somewhere where you're in the public where there's a lot of noise in the background, there's other people talking in the background, there are things being said in the background, mute your mic, okay? Because that disturbs the broadcast and it's you know it's it's, it's kind of disrespectful to those who are trying to listen and on our platform and they go and watch our videos and they expect a good, clean, clear uh, um, copy to be presented to YouTube. So please mute your mic if you have background noise, if you're driving in your car, you're in your truck, you know, mute your mic because that wind that's passing by that window, whoa, 
That's is horrendous. Alright? So, let's go and get started. Um, if you uh, want to know where you all can go to log into your back office, for those of you who are new, you're going to log in at mydispatcher.org. I'm posting it up for you all right now, so you all can, can take a look at it. There it is, mydispatcher.org. We're also going to post it over, the, over to our Facebook viewers, so you all can know where we are. If you want to go to our platform, um, go to our, our back office site. There it is right there, mydispatcher.org. All right. In order to access your back office area, you are going to have to be a member. So, and I'm going to go ahead and mute everybody real quick because we do have some background noise. And if you need to talk to me, unmute yourself and ask a question. Okay, today's broadcast is only going to be about an hour long because this is Memorial Day. I know you all want to get out and get to the beach and, you know, get your, get your barbecue on and all that type of stuff. So uh, let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, if you want to uh, log into your back office area, you're going to have to go to your, to, over to the more screen where it says Dispatcher Tools and Resources. You're going to click onto that, and that is a secure area. So if you do not have a back office login, you're not going to be able to access that area. All right? Now, once you get into this back office area, this is where we are. Now, here's what we're going to do. A lot of you, I got some messages from one of them that says, uh, you know, where do I find shippers? Well, that big truck right there with the money on it, that's where you find your script. So people ask me about the script on what to say to the carriers on how to get them to sign up. Let's cover that real quick. All right, we'll cover that. And let's make some announcements real quick. All right, starting... We're going to try to get it done this week. Okay, we're going to try to get it done this week. And first of all, can everyone hear me? I hear you. And we hear you all fine, right. Charles. All right, all right, yeah. great. So, all right great. Make sure, make sure that, first of all. All right, starting this coming week, hopefully this week, if not definitely by next week, we are going to be adding loads to our back office, okay? Because we've been getting brokers that have been sending things in, and they've been asking us questions on when we can, when they can post the loads, or how they can, they, they can connect with our network. And we have a lot of huge brokers. We have, we have gotten the attention of a lot of huge brokerage firms. And the reason why is, is because of this. Let's go to our YouTube channel and I'll show you all some something. And this is the reason why. Um, this is just one of the reasons why. Let's go to our channel here. Because we have grown in size. All right. Our YouTube su subscribers is 2,988 subscribers. Okay? Now, with that being said, uh, let me go to some of this. Let me go to, to our, here we go, my YouTube, my studio, so I can show you all some of the italics here. Or what type of uh, viewership we have, and how long people actually watch our videos, and how long they stay tuned in to us. Um, we have about a 60% of our YouTube subscribers have become, have, be have become subscription paying members, for one thing. So that's a huge, you know, you know, 6% of that 2,988. We will hit 3,000 subscribers before this month is out, okay? And about 60% of our subscribers on YouTube have joined our network, have joined our platform. They're paying their monthly, they're paying, they, they actually signed up and to actually be a part of our platform. Now, when it comes to YouTube channels, subscribers, crossing over and actually becoming paying subscribers to an actual membership, that's almost unheard of. Okay? Yes, I know we don't have a huge subscribership, like some people, they have 100,000 subscribers and things like that, but how many of that 100,000 subscribers actually goes into paying to access what they are offering? Not that many people. Most of them have about a 20% or a 30% that, that crosses over. We're at 61.2%. That's unheard of. That is the number one reason why these large brokerage firms are contacting us. There's, I mean, I get emails, I get phone calls, and, and, and I, I wish I could, could record some of the conversations, but they're not part of our platform. Like that. I guess I could let them know that I'm about to record, and, and, and then I can kind of post some of that stuff if they give me the go-ahead. But some of the conversations that I've been having with 
with long I'm not even gonna call their names because I can't call, I can't put them out like that without their permission. But we have there are some huge, huge mega brokerage firms that have contacted us and wanted to know how they can connect with our network. Wanted to know how they can access and here's what they and here is what they're looking for. They're looking to access all of these are paid subscribers, paid members to our network. And the list just goes on and on and on. This is what they want to connect to. Why? Because we have right now close to 1,900 independent dispatchers. Now, y'all think this dispatcher game, this dispatcher you know, game is, is weak. Keep thinking that. <laughs> y'all keep thinking that. There, we have close to 1,900 individuals who have signed up who are not brokers. And they are operating as independent dispatchers. And you can see this list is still going on. Okay? This is what they want access to. This is right here. Why? Because each one of these independent dispatchers, they represent a connection to what? Owner operators. They're dispatchers for owner operators. And as a broker, your best bet is to become a part of our network. Your best bet is to join our network. Why? Because then you will have direct access to all of these independent dispatchers who can provide you with connections to their carriers to run your loan. And the great part about it is you won't have to pay them anything extra for that service because they are paid by the carrier. Now, if you can't see the value, if you are a broker and you can't immediately see the financial value in that, then you need to give up being a broker because you don't have a business sense of a two-year-old, a two-year-old can understand, whoa, hold up here, hold up here. That person over there got all that milk and cereal and candy and, mm. <laughs> I might need to crawl over there <laughs> and get some of that. Sean, that just cracked you up there, <laughs> but, but, but seriously though, seriously though, I have heard brokers say, man, dispatchers ain't nothing to get in there. Are you crazy? I mean, what, what, what are you trying to do? Literally cut your financial throat? You don't want to make money? You don't want to accept free, free money? Because that's what, a, that's what an, an independent dispatcher represents to a broker. I mean, the independent dispatcher only that those dispatchers that are operating legally. Let me let me rephrase that because there are a lot of dispatchers out there who operate illegally and they try to operate like a broker. That is not what we um, that is not what we promote. That is not how we train the the dispatchers who come to our network. That is not how we train our dispatchers. We train our dispatchers to operate under the Federal Motor Carriers guidelines. Okay, we train them to operate within the statute guidelines, which means they, the dispatchers themselves, cannot post load. You will not find our dispatchers or people who are within our network. They're not supposed to be going to load boards and posting loads, because that is illegal for a dispatcher. A dispatcher can only look for loads that their carrier has directed them that fits their criteria. So let's make sure that you understand the difference. And every last one of these dispatches you see here, and you see the list is still going on. Every last one of these dispatches you see here, they operate under that type of guidelines. So if a broker wants to really step his game up and make money, you need to be joining the RBDS Logistics Learning Center platform. You need to be logging on. I mean, it's only $349.95 to sign up. I did it thirty nine dollars ninety five cents a month. Hell, y'all pay more than that to a that low board. Two hundred ninety nine dollars for loads that, that ain't giving you almost worth nothing on loads. Come on, really? But you can pay that much money for something that's not even doing you any real good, but you won't connect with a group of more than nineteen hundred independent dispatchers that can provide you with connection to their carriers. On average if they only had, th what, three carriers each, do the math on that, man. <laughs> I mean, 
<laughs> like your boy said, kid, do you not understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Because look, this, this is free money to you. Any broker out, any broker out there, there listen to me, if you are on, on um, what's the thing on, on Facebook? The Brokers Network or the Brokers Group or uh, Truckers versus Brokers or, or Freight Brokers Group, uh, the Freight Brokers Network, you need to be paying attention. This is where <laughs> your connections are. Okay? There's nothing like our platform. We are one of a kind. No, no one else out there. I look high, look low, go everywhere. You're not going to find another platform that's like this one, that provides the tools and resources that draws in the independent dispatch so that they can find carriers and book care and, and contract carriers. So that's what they do. That's, that's what we train. And then as a broker, if you're joining our network, I mean, come on, you've got a playground. I mean, I mean, you're on a playground full of people that are trying to give you cookies and candy. So, in short, what can we offer to brokers? Everything you are looking for. That's what we can offer to brokers. And not just that. Remember, when you join our platform, when you join our platform, you, you get access to a federal government sick code site. You get unrestricted access to a federal government sick code site that gives you access to every shipper in the United States. Okay? Let's remember that now. You get access to a federal government sick code site that gives you access to every shipper in the United States. Let that sink in. Okay, let's have a moment of silence so that can sink in. All right, you should have gotten that by now. <laughs> look, look, look. I know I over dramatize things, but that's for the entertainment value. You know, that's for YouTube. But seriously, seriously, if you are a broker, you want to have access to, to this type of stuff. If you are a broker, you want to be able to go in and just put in what you're looking for. Produce. You want to be able to go in and just put in what you're looking for. And all of a sudden, it pulls up thousands of produce shippers. You click on one, um, you know, one category, you, you, know, you find that produce shipper, and then there it gives you all the information. Oh, come on, man. I mean, if <laughs> what broker would not want to have this type of access? at the click of a button, right in the palm of their hand. All the information, okay? All the information. You come down here and you click on, you know, a state, and it tells you how much money that they generally pay by the pallet, you know, partial drive van or whatever the case may be, they pay to, for a carrier to move freight to that location. Not only that, you can come over here and you can actually submit to them a carrier profile, your carrier profile, where is it at here? Uh, you can actually submit to them. Some of them have an area where you can actually submit to them to their company and, and submit your carrier profile, and they will respond back with the lanes that that carrier could run, which means they'll look at that carrier profile and they'll evaluate it, and then if that carrier uh, gets approved, they'll call you back and say, well, no, that carrier needs more seasons or whatever this and that, or they'll respond by, here's the language that we can make available to that carrier, and, and they'll tell you how much they'll pay that carrier. I mean, I mean <laughs> this is what we give you access to. No, I mean, you can only, most shippers are only going to accept that information from a broker. I mean, let's, I mean, I mean, let's be real. Because shippers work with brokers, okay? Some, a lot of shippers won't work with dispatchers, okay? Because you're not a broker. You don't have a bond or, 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 or whatever the case may be. But I've seen instances where dispatchers have been able to connect with shippers. Now, the shipper won't do a contract with you, but they have been able to connect with shippers and get shippers to informally send them a list of their loads that they have available so that they can share it with their what? Carriers who are what? Insured and have an authority. You see what I'm saying? Okay. They want, chances are they won't do a contract with you. They won't do a formal contract. 
But there are plenty of shippers that will say, yeah, just give me your, your email address and I'll send you a list of loads um, you know, that you can share with your carriers. And then your carriers can contact us. Well, all your carriers are going to do is have you to re recontact them and book the load for them, right? It's a way for them to remain legal but still be able to use your services. But it's kind of like a legal loophole. Charles, help me out. It helps me out here if you know what I mean. Okay? But it's kind of like a legal loophole. Because they can't legally do a contract with you as a dispatch because you don't have any type of authority. But they can do a That's contract correct. with you. But they can do a and thank you on that. But they can do a contract with your carrier. Okay? Legally they can do contracts only with individuals who hold some type of authority. Brokers? Correct. Carriers, correct. Okay, brokers and carriers. That's all they can contract with legally. But informally, they can send you a load list every morning, right? You can't, now it's on you. You're legally bound not to post that load list because you can't post that load list. You, you cannot, as a distance, you cannot post that load list. So they'll send you a load list, notify you that, you know, here's a load list. This is for your private viewing only. You can't post this. Now you can go through that load list and look for loads that fit for your carrier. And then you can inform your carrier, I have a load that fits for you today from this load list. And then your carrier can actually book that load. But because you are contracted with the carrier, they are authorizing you to conduct that transaction on their behalf. So you see how the loophole allows them to swing it back around and, then, and allows you to make use of the shippers and, and interact with them through a legal construct by using the legal loophole. Now, right, that's right. Now, now see a lot of a lot of your Facebook and social media um, legal experts they don't understand this because they don't dig deep into this stuff. This is this is what I, me and Charles, we do this stuff every day all day. We have to because we have to because we have to be, we have to be able to understand the the, the the legal terminology and the ins and outs and the back roads of how to do this business. Why? Because that's what we do. We are consultants by profession. We are consultants by profession. That's the difference between taking a class online and joining a network of consultants. We spend, whew, I don't know about you, Charles, I spend probably six, seven hours a day just researching stuff. Yeah. So I can have the knowledge to be able to consult with our clients, our dispatchers and our brokers and our owner operators who call us up and, and, and they schedule their, their consulting time. I mean, they're paying us on average anywhere from $25 to $100 per hour for our expertise. So we better know what the hell we're talking about. Yeah. Right. Now, I know we have brokers who are Yeah, go right ahead, Charles. I just wanted to piggyback a little bit off of that. Um, uh, some of the newer, and I'll, I'll keep it on the basic level because I'm more of the basic level. Um, instruction portion of it. The, the, from a dispatcher's standpoint, the purpose of the dispatcher is the go-between between their carrier and the broker slash sh uh, shipper. Um, the shipper is the main customer. They deal mainly with either the brokers, they can, broker the, they can sell the freight to the brokers, or they can do it directly to the carriers. The dispatcher comes in, if they have an agreement with the carrier, then, like you said, Calvin, they can work that in a little bit. They can represent the carrier while they're dealing with direct shippers as a representative of their carrier to that shipper. Exactly. But again, uh, the shipper is going to give out what's called a load tender either to the broker directly or to the carrier. But if you're representing your carrier, then it'll come, it, it may be able to funnel through you. But you have to be careful in that regard because you don't want to cross that threshold of doing exactly. something illegal. Exactly. So, but so just keep in mind that the the uh, the dispatcher is the is the agent of the carrier. They represent the carrier when they go to the broker or shipper to uh, to tender a load to book a load. So exactly, and this is the reason why every dispatcher. This this is why we tell you you are not legal. Remember, we always you always hear. I'll say this: you are not legal until what you have a dispatch agreement with the carrier. Correct. You are not legal until you have a legal contract, a legal, a legal agreement with a carrier of him authorizing you to act as their representative. Correct. 
Correct. That's, and that's if you think about it, and if you think about it, that's a smart thing to do to get a dispatch agreement because if you actually read through that dispatch agreement, it's actually not only protecting the carrier, it's actually protecting you because there are some phrases and statements in there, like if something happens, if there's damage to the freight, that means the dispatcher is held harmless, things like that. But if you don't have an agreement and something happens, the carrier gets into an accident, you may be included in that lawsuit. So exactly. you may want to consider reading that dispatch agreement and, uh, and making sure that that's in place because that's a safety net for yourself as well as the carrier. Yeah. So when, when, when we constructed this, this sample dispatch agreement, we wanted to make sure that you all are covered. We want to make sure that, 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 that we, are, we are in line with the statute. We want to make sure that you all are operating legally and not like a lot of dispatchers out there who are trying to mimic brokers, and that is highly illegal. Um, for those of you who don't know about our dispatch agreement, take the time to go pull it up. It's the picture of the, the, uh, the owner-operator and his wife, or the owner operator and her husband. <laughs> anyway, how y'all want to put it? I want to be fair to everybody. <laughs> that can be viewed both ways. There's a picture of two owner operators, a male and a female. They're looking at that tablet like they're looking over an agreement. All right. <laughs> so that's what that's the the placement holder doing our back office for the um, dispatch service agreement. And if you just put your cursor over the uh, the placement holder there, it'll tell you what it is. Okay? All right. But this is our agreement. And, and if you read through it, it literally, it literally, as Charles said, it is, it is, it is written to protect you. It is, it is written to allow you and keep you operating legally within the guidelines of the Federal Motor Carriers uh, statute. Okay? So take some time to go read that. Um, uh, here, I'll take a moment here. I'll read it for you all real quick. Dispatch Service Agreement, I... Okay, this is for the, oh, well, up top, first of all, you're going to put your name uh, or, or your company name, your address, your phone number, and your email address. And then down here, everything that's in yellow, okay, on, no, that's above this area here, that's in yellow, um, that's where your information goes. Everything that's in yellow below the fee line is where the carrier's information goes, okay? So let's go ahead and read this. I, the carrier, the owner of and or a or the driver of truck number of the carrier a licensed motor carrier mc number and or dot number hereby grants authorization to you the dispatcher this is where your name goes to act as my agent for the sole purpose this is what it says for the sole purpose of searching for and booking shipments processing all brokerage paperwork and obtaining certificates of insurance as required in order to expedite shipments and dispatch via telephone, fax, or email for my truck unit number. The truck number goes there. License plate goes here. In the state of, the state operating out of goes there. All billing, invoicing, and collection collections of revenue from customers, brokers, shippers, consignees, etc., and the sole responsibility of the carrier. Oh, well, are the sole responsibility of the carrier. Okay, let me get that right. Okay, are the sole responsibility of the carrier. If revenue for a shipment or shipments is uncollectible, your name goes there. The dispatcher's name goes there. Will be held harmless and no penalty or deduction of fees would be made. The carrier agrees to maintain all proper licenses and permits to conduct business as a motor carrier in the area of intended operations. Additionally, carrier agrees to maintain liability and cargo insurance at the amount set forth by the home state of the carrier. Your name goes here or your dispatcher's um, um, or your company name goes there will be held harmless in the event of any and all claims. Let me repeat that. Mr. Dispatcher, your name or your company name will be held harmless in the event of any and all claims. The carrier agrees to maintain an account with an internet load board service in the name of the carrier with your name or your company name, the dispatcher's name, as 
the point of contact for dispatching purposes. Now, this is the area, everything's up top here, is there to protect you. Now, this is your fee line that we recommend that you charge your carrier. The fee for dispatch services will be 10% of the gross revenue of each shipment with no minimal charge. All right, it basically goes on to say as loads are picked up, an amount equal to the above stated percentage will be payable to your name goes there. Okay, or your company name, however you want it paid, that's where it's going to go, right there. Right. Okay, payments are to be conveniently paid with any debit or credit card via text or email invoice. Okay, now this change, this, this is a change. We don't process this anymore. So I need to take that out, or you all just need to, you know, take that out because we don't process your invoice anymore. We showed you all how to do this so you can put in your company name right there or your dispatcher's name right there. So we're going to show you, so we provide at, um, access to the Square account um, so we, for you all to go and sign up with Square Business, and we have videos and we have training on how you can use Square to invoice your carry. Okay? So um, that's what we do now. Okay? All right. Either party has the right to end this agreement without cause at any time with seven days' notice by written request upon cancellation. Any unused funds remaining in the deposit account will be refunded to the carrier within two business days without penalty. Okay? Um, but there you go. And then, of course, you want, you know, their signature, blah, 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 and then your signature, blah, 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 and you're coming in the signature right there. Now, that's a legal dispatch agreement. Okay? And it's written in a way that completely protects you. And it also completely keeps you legal in, your, in how you operate as an independent dispatcher. Okay? And that's why it's there. That's why it's written the way it is written. All right? Um, um, Aaron says, sorry, I keep calling you Charles instead of Calvin. Sorry, just getting up and, and waking up. Hey, you know, hey, you know, uh, I get that a lot. Yeah, you know, we like twins. I get people to call up. I can't believe I'm talking to Charles. Uh, no, I'm Calvin. Oh, yeah, you <laughs> too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess people they do that a lot. You know, they have to go to follow it. Like, I have a question. Yeah, and 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 and, and who am I speaking with? Uh, Kevin Whitaker. Hey, Mr. Whitaker, how you doing? What's your question? I'm all right. Uh, what video can we find um, the uh, how to set up the Square account? Mm, I know Lord. you guys have them numbered. Now you're squeezing me now. Um, <laughs> uh, Chances are, uh, I'll see here, which one is that? Matter of fact, not only is it numbered, but if you go to the video library, okay? Now, one of the things that we have asked you all to, to do, okay, one of the things that we have asked you all to, to, to do is to go into your back office site and just start clicking on stuff, okay? But uh, this is just so you all will know if, if anybody is out there and they want to know where to find stuff at, you know, at some point in time, you know, just take the time and just, when you buy a new car, look, I just bought my wife a new Cadillac, okay, and the first thing she did, she went in there and started punching on every button, every single knob in the doggone car. I said, what are you doing? She said, I'm, I'm, I'm learning the car. I said, you know what? Right. No, you're exactly right. <laughs> and, and I thought about, you know, my students, <laughs> they go into our back office and they don't touch nothing. <laughs> they just start calling the manufacturer. Uh, hey, what's this do? What's that? <laughs> you don't do that with a, you know, with a new car, right? So do the same thing here. Just get in your car and start clicking on stuff. You ain't going to break nothing. All right. But if you're looking for the videos, you can kind of look at the titles and it'll kind of tell you, give you an idea of what's in that title. Okay. Like here, book your freight from home, episode, what's call it? Carrier invoices. <laughs> so that's probably we're going to talk about what? How to invoice a carrier, right? All right, I got you. <laughs> All right, so make sure you just go through it and just read the title. Just kind of look at it. And, 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 and even the placement, the placement photos that we use kind of give you an insight 
as to what that is. What is that place for? What is that? What is that? What is that photo? What does it say there? The placement holding photo. I'm in a video. Somebody care to tell me what that says? How to get paid. So chances are we're going to talk about what? This, you know, that square invoice, right? <laughs> All right? Look, yeah, I mean, I'm not trying, I know I'm over-dramatizing because, you know, this is somewhat, you know, it has an entertainment value on YouTube. That's what draws in our viewers, you know, you know at first glance. Then they realize that we actually have some substance behind the humor and behind the sarcasm. But we do that for a reason. We do that for a reason to over to overemphasize, you know, you all's need to be responsible for your own success. Okay, we provide you with everything y'all need, but it's up to you all to actually go in and click on this stuff and see what it is. You know, and I mean, I mean, you can't hurt this stuff. I mean, you can't hurt any of this. Just go in your back and click on everything. I mean, just go and start. You ain't got to really, you start clicking on stuff, you say, okay, well, shoot, let's just click on this and click on that. Then you start realizing, oh, that does say how to, how to get paid. Oh, that does say, you know, uh, carrier invoices, you know. Oh, uh, no, no, uh, freight brokering, what do you need to know? Well, chances are we're going to be talking about brokering, you know, on this episode. Uh, on this episode, we got Q and A. Well, we got a lot of questions. People gonna be asking questions and stuff. You know, uh, on this episode, we got a car hauler up that is that's that's pulling cars. So they're probably gonna talk about what auto hauler. <laughs> you even got to read it. You just look at the picture. <laughs> it's just tell you, give you an idea of what this episode is about. You know, up here you got you know, dad to negotiate. You got the thing that's showing you the balance here, the art of negotiation. So what are we going to be talking about? We're probably going to be talking about calling up brokers and calling up shippers and negotiating rates. We, you know, we try to make this, we try to make this user friendly. We really do. We really do. Okay, but it requires some input and some uh, type of, of, of work on your part too. Okay, um, we put a lot. We put a, and, and God knows I know Charles put a lot of his stuff on because I was in the earth. No, I remember him calling me up and we talked for hours about how he was going to develop his platform. <laughs> so I know, so I know he put a lot of work into his platform and yeah, and, sweat equity. Yes, Lord knows we do. We put a lot into building these platforms. We do a when I say we do a ton, a ton of research because we did because we did not want to be the same old, same old of what you get out there with all the other platforms, with all the other freight broker training courses, you know, with all the other oh come on down and join us for a week and we'll show you hands on how to you know book freight and then when you're done we're gonna give you a certificate and we're gonna give you a receipt. And then we, you know, we gotta, you know, if you don't want to become an agent with us, and you know, have we have you doing some stuff for the first year that really ain't got much to do with, you know, booking freight, but you know, we have you looking up some tag numbers, we have you doing some registration, we have you doing all that, and we'll share about about one percent of our, you know, uh, broker's fee on the loads that you are working on, and that'll be your payment. Uh, but you know, but, but you know, you gotta put in the work first. You gotta put in, you gotta pay your dues. You gotta pay your dues. You gotta pay your dues. Hey, excuse me, Cal. Yeah. I got a question. This is the uh, Sir Jonathan. I know I looked at the video and um, I know we was doing something a little different with the uh, invoices, and I just want to uh, get some clear because I just got started. Do right. are we sending our uh, yes, dispatch are. agreements and and our are we sending that to you guys still? To, no. Or are we keeping all that? No, you're just keeping, keeping it on file. Yeah, you're keeping all that. That was when we were doing the processing for you. Uh, when you're looking at those old videos, just take what we were doing and just apply it to yourself. That's all you got to do. Okay. So it's still so, best to keep all that on file and stuff. Oh, and, oh yeah, you got to. You don't want to keep all that on file because that's your company. You see, we have, all right, remember when we first started out two years ago, we were a brokerage firm. We had a bond, we had an MC number, DOT number, we were operating as a brokerage firm. And we were actually hiring individuals as agents. Charles remembers this because he came on with us back when we were a brokerage firm. 
and we were right. hiring, and we and we had a bond, and we were paying our brokers. You know, we were getting fifty percent of the brokers' fee. Yeah, that's what we were doing. No, actually, yeah, actually, right then, Charles, when we first started, we were doing a seventy thirty split, right? Seventy. Uh, I, uh, the standard was sixty forty, but I think we did a seventy thirty. Yeah, we were doing a seventy thirty split or something like that, where 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 we would get thirty, and you all would get seventy. Okay, if you book your own, you know, you were broke and you booked what's called, we got thirty percent. But then when we ran into some trouble with someone had actually stole our uh, broker identity, our MC number, and they ran like huh, it was up or closer to a hundred and some odd thousand dollars in auto runs. Uh, we didn't even know anything about. It. <laughs> we had no we had no clue. And the only one we found out is when I guess they had a clerical, there was a clerical error of where one of the carriers that they was using to run the auto loads, they, I guess they changed the name of the company and changed the address or whatever. So when that person who had stole our identity sent them a check, it didn't get to them. So they never got their money. So that carrier who had changed their name, what's called, they filed a complaint with the federal bond service, right? But, and of course, when they looked at the complaint, they saw the MC number, RBBS transfer. So we got the complaint letter, and we was like, okay, so, so I turned to run around trying to figure out who this was, and we look it up, and we said, no, we didn't do business with this carrier. As a matter of fact, we, don't, we, had, we hadn't even gotten into doing all the hall loads. <laughs> so I'm like, how would we be doing business with this carrier? This is not one of our carriers. You know, we, I mean, everybody was, was baffled. And then through doing the background work on that, we went to Central Dispatch where the account was set up. We looked at it, and there was the account. But the email address was to a Gmail email address. Our email address is, a, we have our own domain, at rbbstransport.com. Ding, 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 ding. Exactly. So the email address, of where, cause the, and the scam was they used our MC number, but they put it on Central Dispatch, and they have all our information as if they're us, but everything, all the invoices and the emails confirming everything was going to a person's private email and not coming to us. So therefore they can operate unbeknownst to us and transfer and collect money and we will be none the wiser. <laughs> That's what they were doing. And they had been doing it for about six or seven months before we caught on. Hundred and seventy seven thousand dollars in auto loads. In auto haul loads that they had ran. <laughs> and it was just, you know, some girl in Chicago <laughs> just running the buck. She was, she was making a paper. <laughs> she, I mean, you know, we we actually called her up and she answered the phone. Are we being stressed, boy? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, this RBBS transport? Yeah, I go, that's, that's funny because we're RBBS transport. <laughs> Click on. <"Clean>, uh. <laughs> call, yeah. this, this, call back, this number is blocked or whatever, whatever. Try to treat the, this number is no longer in service. <laughs> so that's what we you know. Call the police. <laughs> Me in Chicago. Find a police report. You know, blah, 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 blah. blah. You know, that person has since been going to trial and, and whatever the case management was and, and they wind up getting some time and had to pay out a lot of money. Okay? But from that we realized that we were vulnerable in being brokers. And our um, board of trustees and our investors wanted to limit their liability. They didn't they didn't really understand when they gave us all that money that they were opening themselves up to that type of liability. And trust me, people like that do not want to be opened up to liability. They do not want to be exposed to that type of liability. Okay, um, you got a law firm, you got a sports management firm, very well upstanding firms. They do not want to be associated with stuff like that. So then we had a big board meeting and we decided that we were going to that our bond expired. We're no longer going to use our bond, but we're going to um, transfer over to a dispatch firm, which has almost no liability. Okay, that's why we operate, and we can still structure in a way that we can make just as much money. Okay, so uh, that's how the development came from a freight broker firm to a dispatch firm to what we are now to, and what we offer now to you all is consulting. 
training, access to a network that you all can join. All right. So, uh, real quick, brokers, if if you're looking, if you're looking, and I don't care if you're the most successful brokerage firm out there, because obviously we have something to offer. Because the most successful brokerage firms out there are contacting us. Matter of fact, I, I did promise to show you all that email. I'm, I'm going to try to limit the person's name on can it. I, while, you're, while you're looking for that, Calvin, can I chime in on the, on the yeah. guy's question about the invoicing? Yeah, yeah go right ahead. Okay, uh, I think it was uh, Sir Jonathan asked a question about the invoicing. Mm -hmm. um, what I do is I, I create uh, folders for, for each carriage that I have under an agreement. I put the dispatch agreement, the profile in those folders, and then other documents that I need to um, to book the loads on a regular basis, the, uh, the MC Authority W-9 Certificate of Insurance. Once one of my carriers, doesn't matter what equipment type they have, whether it's flatbed, drive in, or reefer, once they deliver that load to the receiver and get a copy of their BOL, their BOL, which is the bill of lading, uh, which show that's the re delivery receipt, proof of delivery, that's their invoice when they send to their factory company or the broker to get paid. Um, this is when I start the process of sending an invoice to the carrier because I know now that they've delivered, they got a receipt of that delivery, so now it's time to get paid. So that carrier will send me that VOL. Um, I, do, I also have a copy of the rate confirmation and things like that, but the VOL is the main uh, proof that you need from your carrier to uh, to invoice them, and then you invoice them whatever percentage, uh, typically that 10% that we charge for for the service. Um, but all the other documents, sir uh, Jonathan, that you were mentioning, you were, you probably want to, as a business, as a dispatching business, you want to keep that in a separate like a filing folder. If you don't have either the free version of a SIN or a subscription version of a SIN, start off with some file folders on your desktop. Start small. If you can't afford to get the free version, just start small and then go from there. But the DOL is what you need. So Exactly. And we highly recommend the ASIN. We I use the SIN in my dispatch firm. Okay. I highly recommend you use you get to see it um you get the ASIN. Um the free version is I mean it's even the free version, it's great. Okay. Uh, and and the premium version is not that expensive. What is it? what is it? Forty nine dollars a month, right, Charles? Yeah, the premium is forty nine a month, yeah. Yeah, I mean, and, and, and what I like about the premium is you can add as many agents as you want to your ascend account. So if you're growing, if you're growing and you're hiring your agents, you can add them and they can all have their own separate login to your ascend software. And you as the, as the master account, you can go in and look and see what your agents are doing. Now, now. This is not just now listen to me, this is not just something for brokers, but the ASEAN was great for dispatching firms too. Think about it. If you have a number of dispatchers, you can you, you can upload your trucks, you can upload, you can track them, you can upload your dispatchers and have them all have their own login, you know, all of your sub dispatchers have their own login and they can and you can see what they have in their setup too. As far as what trucks they dispatched that day, you know, who they you know Track everything. So keep that in mind. You know, the Ascend product is not just for brokers. You know, if you are an independent dispatcher and you want to send, you 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 can sign up for it, and you can get it. Just let them know that you're operating a dispatch firm, and and their product, it 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 you know is is great for independent dispatchers. All right. Um, this is just one of the emails that we got. Uh, it says uh, it says here uh, what I have to do to post loads um, so the platform can see them. Can I post um, any load a board platform uses whatever it case may be? And then we responded back to them. Uh, Thank you for reaching out to our network. Uh, you may send your available loads here each. Um, uh, and we will share them um, in our private chat groups. Or you can share your loads directly via the less chat option on our on network site at mydispatcher.org. Okay, for those of y'all don't know about that, 
that feature. Our website has a list, has a, uh, there it is, can y'all see it right down there? There it is right there, it's just list chat. You, you click on that, you pull it up, and you can chat directly um, on, right there on our, our site. Now, if you have a back office login, you can go in there and you can send stuff in, and we'll see it immediately. And someone will respond back to you and be like, hey, you know, just got a chat with you. Okay? You can also attach your loads. Like you, say, you can attach stuff right there. Bam. You can pull up your documents and you can attach your loads. Attach your loads. Send them right over to our network. Eventually, I'm going to see it, or one of the interns is going to see it. Someone who is at that type has access to our chat messages, they're going to see it, right? And then we're going to go in and we're going to blast it out to every member of our network because we can do that in our back office message center because that's how we sent you all to blast out about our new people at L. And all of y'all who are members, all of y'all got it, right? All of y'all said, how did you get this stuff? All of y'all got it because we sent it out as an email blast. We can actually upload stuff and create stuff and create, you know, different branding material or whatever we want to, to send to you all, and we can send it to all of you all at one click of a button. We just click all members, and it goes right out. Matter of fact, here, I'll show you what it looks like. It's, it's, it's right in our back office account, which is our Wix. I mean, Charles, you know about this, don't you? You got Wix, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's called Wix Marketing or something like that. Uh, let's we have my sites. I can pull up Dispatcher Network. Pull up the Dispatcher Network, and we go down here, and it, there's an area for us to actually. It's our, our marketing, the marketing tools. Email, email marketing. Exactly. Go to email marketing, and we can blast that out. I can I can create a marketing campaign. Uh, I can, I can create a marketing campaign. Here's some of the marketing campaigns that I have created. And when I create that marketing campaign and I want to send it out to the uh, the group, all right? Let's see if I want to send I want to ah come on here. Manage. Here we go. If I want to manage one of these campaigns and send one of these campaigns out, I can send them out to the entire group. Uh, let's see what it says, share, I can share this on social media or I can create a, 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 a uh, let's see where is it, here, I'm trying to get to the point where I can actually send this. I, 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 actually, I have to click on it, I think I have to click on it and pull it up to, to, to do it. But you can see here where we sent it out and it got sent to 600 and, we sent this one out to 688 um, individuals, okay? Uh, it got 406 views and had 275 clicks. And you can see here how we're, how we're blasting stuff out. So we can blast stuff out to everyone if that's the case. I can click everyone. I don't have to just pick like the ones who are, 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 are. sometimes we'll target certain individuals because we know that they are dedicated. <laughs> we, you know, like this, like this people L. When we first started doing the people L, we didn't want to send it out to, to everyone. We wanted to send it out to, to to a select number of people who were actually working our platform, who were actually in our platform and literally working it on a day to day basis. Because we're able to see, you know, you know, you know, I know who's working the platform. Trust me, I know who's working the platform, and I know who's not working the platform. We got certain people who never even come to the chat. Group. We got some, we can go in and look at the italics and see who is clicking on stuff in our back office, and we and we can pull them up by when you go to the go to the uh, the Wix italics. Uh, I'm gonna Charles if you ever use the Wix italics, um, but you can go to it, you can click on it, and you can pinpoint you know um, um, what's IP addresses, and you can it gives you a map and it's down tell you what. Continent, what state, what city they're in, <laughs> yeah. and what time, and what time they logged on, and how long they stayed on, and how long, how many clicks they did on your site, what what products they clicked on in your site. So look, analytics, exactly. And I I log into that often just to see 
who is actually working, who is actually doing what they have committed themselves to do. You understand? Because that's why I always say you don't make other people responsible for your success because I know who's actually in there and I know who's actually working this and those people who are actually working are usually the ones who are making good revenue. I mean, I know no secret to it. If you work at the platform, chances are you're going to benefit from it. If you're not working the platform, guess what? It ain't, gonna, it ain't, gonna, it ain't just going to give you free money. <laughs> right? <laughs> you got to work this thing. It's not just going to jump and say, hey, here's your money today. No, you got to work it. You got to make those phone calls. You got to you know, pitch those carriers. You know, that pitch, how much money you need to move your, you move your truck. You got to send them a dispatch agreement. You got to sign them up. Well, you sign them up, send them a profile sheet. So you know what they need. Then you got to go to the load boards. You got to click on them. You know? <laughs> Search for loads. <laughs> Submit those to them. They choose which one they want. You got to call up the broker. You got to get that dispatch. You got to get that confirmation rate sheet. You got to send those to your carrier. Carrier goes pick up the load. Seems to the BOL. You got to send that back to the broker. Then a half, two days later, you got to call that broker back. It's a broker. Call and check the status of my carrier's paid. Broker tells you when the carrier got paid or when the carrier's going to get paid. You got to contact that carrier. You got to create an invoice. Mr. Carrier, I'm sending you an invoice. Oh, Mr. Carrier, where's my money? That's how, I mean, believe it or not, that is how it works. <laughs> right, right, y'all? I know I make it sound real simple. But <laughs> when you break yeah. it, but that's it. That's the process. That's the process. Now, when you all get to the point where you know that process like I know it, then you're doing your job. But if you're not trying to learn that process and get to the point to where you can just spit it out like you, you know, or like you're doing a freestyle rap, then you ain't doing your job. You're not taking responsibility for your success. You're trying to make me responsible for your success or make Charles responsible for your success or make Mr. Washington responsible for your success or make Mr. Uh, Sanitary responsible. But, uh, don't do that. No, 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 no. Don't, don't do that. We've already done our part in, in building this platform, in doing the consultation, in making ourselves available, you know, and really, you know, asking our wives and families to sacrifice for the platform that we have developed. We've done our part. Now you got to do your part. You got to go in and work this thing. Now I know I don't want that to come off sounding harsh, but that's the truth. Correct me if I'm wrong, Charles. <laughs> Because, no so, <laughs> because we make sacrifices for this for, for these platforms. That's our wives. My wife is home right now, wondering why I'm down here, and she up there on Memorial Day with the dog, and she pouting because you know. <laughs> yeah, he gotta go spend two hours with his students. <laughs> she's on the phone with her. I know she gonna she gonna kill me with this because because she's finally logged in on Facebook. <laughs> Babe, I'm just talking. I don't mean that by. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, she's probably on Facebook right now, long though. You know, but I'm just talking. I don't mean that by. But she probably on the phone with her friends. Yeah. We can't. He down there with his students. <laughs> y'all see what I, y'all, y'all see what we have to, you know, you know, now I'm joking about it, but, and she really does understand it. But they sacrifice. Our family sacrifice because of the commitment that we have made to our platform and to you all, our students. And all we ask that you do your part. Take responsibility for, for your success. Okay? All right. Brokers, if you're listening, okay, if you are a broker out there, and if you want a platform that gives you access to more than who 2,700, well, I, not quite, more than 1,900 um, um, dispatchers. So we have about eight, we have about six or seven hundred brokers who are, who, are, who, are, who, are, who who actually join our platform, but we have far look the masses of our our enrollment are going to be individuals who are independent dispatchers. And if you want access to independent dispatchers who are being shown the right way, the legal way to dispatch and not infringe upon you all's sovereign 
domain as being broker because as, as a broker you all should have a way that only you can operate. Why? Because you paid the cost. It costs to be a broker. It costs to be a broker. Okay? Much respect to brokers. I know those. I well not me personally. I got investors to pay that to pay that money. But I know what it costs. <laughs> okay, I know what it costs to be a legitimate bona fide broker. Even on a the low on the lower scale, it costs. You gotta get that seventy five thousand dollar bond. That's anywhere from a thousand to five thousand dollars, maybe ten thousand dollars down if you got kids poor credit. Okay, and that and you know, you know, you know look, when you start talking about shutting out three thousand dollars at one time, that money don't come, you know, I right, ain't just laying around somewhere. Most people don't just have that they gotta do some stuff to get that money. They gotta sacrifice some stuff. They gotta do some things as them boys say out there. Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so I just gotta do some things to get that money. They gotta make some promises to people to get that money. So I understand that being a broker, it costs you. And if you're gonna pay that type of cost, that and get that one point two million dollars insurance, it costs you about three thousand dollars down, three hundred twenty dollars nine months out of the year. And you gotta get your authority, seven hundred and fifty to eight hundred and fifty dollars just to get your authority. And you got all the costs of all the software stuff you're gonna need to operate. Then you got a you got that waiting period because no no one's gonna mess with you for the first six months. Why? Because you ain't got enough season on your bond, so no ship is gonna sign you. So you gotta still pay that three hundred twenty dollars a month while you're waiting for your seasoning, so you can sign on with a shipper, so you can make some money. So yeah, you all deserve to have an area of space within the industry that only you can operate in. I get it. I understand it. I emphasize with that because I was once in your shoes. But at the same time, there's an area of operations that's outside of you all's selective and privileged circle that operates too. And as long as they keep their boundaries, as long as they keep their boundaries, you all can benefit from each other. And that's what our platform sets for you. The way our platform is set up, the way we train all of these independent dispatchers you see here, the way our platform is set up, we, our platform is set up to keep them within their boundaries to where they don't infringe upon your area. They're not taking business from you. They're only bringing business to you. Now, dispatchers who are posting loads on load boards, yeah, they're stealing your business. They're stealing your clientele. I'm not going to defend them. I'm not going to lie. They are stealing your clientele because they are in, operating in an area that only you should be operating in because they are posting loads. And that's not what they're supposed to be doing. Okay? And for all the dispatchers that are, that are doing that to you, I apologize. It's not my fault. I'm not doing it. Our students don't do it. But it should not be happening to you. And we understand that's where the animosity is coming from. But that's not with our, within our network and, and, and those dispatchers out there who are not with our network who are operating legally. Independent dispatchers who are operating legally, or they, they can only help your business. They provide a free service for you. They give you access to carriers that they have under contract who are looking for the loads you are providing. And you are not going to have to pay anything more than what you have promised to pay on that load. That dispatch is not going to get a cut of your fee or anything like that. You're not paying any more money. Why? Because that dispatch has their agreement worked out with their carrier, and that carrier is paying that dispatch. So as brokers, you all need to understand, a, dispatch, a legally operated dispatcher is your best friend. And we've got over 1,900 legally operating dispatchers. So if you want access to trucks, if you want access to carriers who are actually looking for loads, I'm not talking about those carriers who are pretending to run loads. They send that truck stop. Oh man, I can't find no good paying loads. You know, that's, 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 I'm just sitting here. Oh, uh, hey, can you? Uh, you got a shower belt on your car? We ain't, we ain't talking about them guys. No, we talking about them guys that have taken the initiative. They have contracted and hired a dispatcher to keep them running. That is what you want access to. So if you're thinking to yourself, as a broker, I hate dispatches, don't do that. 
You're hating on yourself. If you're doing that, you're hurting yourself. If you're doing that, you're hurting your own money. I promise you, you're hurting your own money if that's what you're doing. Because if you connect with, the, with, a, with a, a good, legally operated independent dispatcher, watch how your National Hill Bank gets, um, gets fooled. That National Hill Bank is going to get so fooled, you're going to be walking, dragging the ground. <laughs> you're going to be like them ladies that get them, you know, them operations. <laughs> You see me like, whoa, look at his back pocket. <laughs> you know, what's that video? Becky, look at her butt. <laughs> That's how other brokers are going to be looking at you. Because your National Hill Bank is going to be full if you get with the right independent dispatcher. Right. Q&A. Q and A. We made our uh, that was our um, operational training for the day was to give brokers and let brokers know um, what we have to offer um, to brokers who want to join our platform. If any brokers out there and you're thinking about uh, and you want to join our platform to get access to all our tools and resources, to get access to our network, to get access to the sick code site where you can connect with every um, shipper in the United States, even you get access to a carrier locator site where we connect you with every carrier in the United States. Every owner operator, that's valuable to a broker. Wouldn't you love to directly connect with an owner operator? And you also get to participate you know, in our chat groups, get to participate, get our logistics library, and you get to come on and get discounted consultation, you know, private consultation, because our members get uh, consultations at $25 per half hour and $50 per hour, and, our, and non-members of our platform pays $50 for a half hour consultation and, an hour, and $100 an hour for our private consultation. Okay? So just remember that. Oh, one more quick announcement. If you are able to, if you can afford it, if you can afford it and you are able to and you are looking to, um, matter of fact, let me pull it up here. If you are looking to, uh, 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 to profit, if you want to profit from our popularity, from our platform, if you want to profit from what we're doing, if you want to start getting a piece of the RBBS Logistics Learning Center, you know, financial wheel, um, you can become a you can um, become a franchisee. Now, uh, we have um, the franchisee. Um, we have the <laughs> we have we have the franchise opportunity available for those who want to profit from a logistics platform. Now, how does that work? Let me pull it up for you real quick. Let me give you all some idea. I'll be basically just learning centers. That's why we changed our name. That's why our name has changed from the RBB Logistics Learning Center to Centers. Okay, because we are we have officially introduced our um, franchise. Uh, here it is right here. Okay. Uh, now what do you get? Okay. When you become a franchisee, you're going to get your franchisee payouts. They, here's what your franchisee payouts are. You're going to get 50% of our individual enrollments. And our individual enrollments are the veterans enrollments at $249.95 and the regular individual enrollment, which is $349.95. So you're going to get half of that when you sign someone up for a veterans enrollment or for an individual enrollment. You're going to get 50% of the monthly subscription fees when you sign someone up. So the veterans pay $29.95 a month. The regular subscription members now pay $39.95 a month. So when you sign someone up for a, um, an enrollment and they pay their subscription, you're getting half of the enrollment fees. So you're not just creating uh, revenue on the individual enrollment. So now we are debt-free because before we were debt-free. We owe a good portion of that money to our investors to pay them back that $266,000 that we owe them. Now we are done. We are paid up. You know, we are debt free. So that cleared the way for us to introduce our franchise opportunity. So now any money that comes in, we don't have to pay it out to our investors anymore. Okay? So they've been paid back. We freed ourselves from that, from that obligation. So we can now split everything with our franchisees if you decide to become a franchise owner. Okay, but this way you're creating 
residual income, monthly revenue, as well as upfront profits. Okay, as well as upfront um, revenue. Now, as you can see here, you also get 50% of our corporate enrollments. Our corporate enrollments start at $699.95. That is for the 1.0, where you, you can enroll up to 10 people, including the, the corporate administrator, into our platform. They have to be employees. You have to enroll 10 of your employees. They have to be employees of your company, okay, for you to, to do the corporate enrollment. So you can enroll them and for $699.95. And you pay um, $99.95 is down here, you see, is what the monthly payment is for the corporate enrollment 1.0. It goes all the way up to a corporate enrollment unlimited. We have a corporate enrollment 1.0, we have a corporate enrollment 2.0. The 2.0 is $999.95 on your enrollment. You get half of that if you are a franchisee. And it is $199 a month. You get half of that. And the unlimited enrollment, where you can enroll, well, not the 2.0, you can enroll up to 20 employees. The unlimited enrollment, you can enroll as many employees as you have. Unlimited, just what it says. You pay $2,499.95 for that enrollment, and you pay $299.95 per month as a corporate enrollee, uh, as, a, as a corporate enrollee unlimited. And as a franchisee, if you sign someone up for a corporate enrollment unlimited, you're getting half of that $2,499.95, and you're getting half of the monthly fees that they pay, the monthly subscription that they pay for the employees to be a part of our platform. We also give you access to where you get half if you sign someone up for a franchisee. If you sign a franchise, if you sign a, a franchisee up, you're going to get 50% of the franchise fee which is $4,999.95. Now, I know not everybody uh, can afford to be, become a franchisee. Okay, I, I know that. This is for that selected few people who have been able to, you've been successful with doing things on your own, um, and, 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 and we want people who are used to or who are able to, who can afford to, and who are trying to build, okay, um, who are trying to build their companies or build their, their, their financial standing or create some type of independence. Okay, that's, 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 that's what this opportunity is for. Now, this franchisee, this franchise opportunity, when you look at it on a franchise scale, you look at franchise dollars, this is very low. Okay? Not saying that $4,000, $5,000 is not a lot of money because it is, but their franchise that, you know, that cost a hell of a lot more, and their return might be greater. But when you look at the fact of how quickly this platform built, we went from 79 members to over 2,700 members basically in a year because we're so popular. Now, you also, as a uh, franchisee, you get 75% of the consultation fees if you decide to become a consultant with our platform. If you decide to become a consultant with our platform, here is, let me see here, let me show you what, the, what our booking site looks like. If you decide to become a, a consultant with our platform, sign in. If you decide to become a consultant with our BBS, if you are a franchisee and you want to consult, let us know what what areas of expertise you have, okay, uh, appointments. Let us know what area of expertise you have, and we will list you as a consultant with our, with our, uh, with, with our um, platform. Uh, let's see here. we be online booking, oh, the booking site. All right. This is our booking site. Here, this is what it looks like. Good site. This is our consulting booking site. Okay, uh, you come in, it gives you the hours that the consultations are available, and you come in and you pick one of the services. You're either going to be a subscription member, or you're going to be a non-subscription member. If you are a subscription member, you pay twenty-five dollars for a half-hour um, consultation. If you are a non-consistent member, you're paying $50 for a half-hour consultation. 
Subscription members pay $50 for an hour consultation. $50 per hour. Non-subscription members pay $100 per hour. Right now, I am listed as the only consultant because we were not franchising out before, but now that we are cleared away from franchising, we are open to bringing on more consultants. If you want to become a consultant, you need to send us over what you, uh, what your expertise is. You know, let us know what your expertise is. You know, um, what areas do you cover? I can consult in, in all things logistics, okay, trucking, freight, any, any, you know, any, uh, um, any subject you need um, um, consultation on, I can, you know, cover that. If you specialize in carrier acquisitions and showing people how to, you know, uh, find carriers and how to pitch carriers, if you do in, in negotiating with shippers and contacting shippers and, and knowing how to get to that person who's in charge, put that down as your expertise. If you specialize in, you know, uh, contract uh, you know, in getting, you know, uh, negotiating with brokers, getting their fees up, put that down as your expertise. So you list your expertise, right? If you're, if you're expert in all things freight, put that down. And then we will... So in profiles. So when individuals come on, they will be able to book with whoever they want to book a consultation with. Okay? And when you book a consultation, I'll show you what it looks like. You're going to click on whoever you want to book that consultation with, and it's going to give you, you know, what the fees are, and it's going to tell you what their hours of, of availability are. So you can do a thing where it says book now, and it's going to give you a schedule and tell you what hours that's available or when they take a consultation. And you can pick a slot. You can pick a half hour slot. You pick, you know, you can pick the to the person who you're booked with, okay, they have to confirm it. They will confirm it, right? With after the consultation appointment is done and you verify that you have finished your consultation, then your card will be then will be sent over to that person's account. Okay, so that's how that works. That's how it works. Now, if you are one of our franchisees and you want to be a consultant, um, um, you get seventy-five percent of your consulting fees. Okay, we get twenty-five percent. You get you get seventy-five percent. All right. Uh, franchisee will also have um, administrative access to our videos, our recorded operational training. Why? Because You'll be able to create your own YouTube channel and get revenue from the videos that we post, but you can only do that if you have ownership of the videos. In other words, when we shoot a video and we put it up, once we post it, we will make it available to our franchisees for, t for 48 hours. For two days, you can go on, click on to the back office area of our uh, free conference call site, and download that video to your computer, and you can upload it to your YouTube channel. Now, you all know how popular our channel is. Now, you, can, you, would, you have the ability to use our material, our YouTube, anything that we're doing from here on out, once you become a witch caller, you can post that to your own channel, and you can receive revenue from it. You can monetize it. Because we make money from our videos. Yes, we do. That's why we do all the jokes and this entertainment value. Because when you get a certain number of subscribers, YouTube offers you a partnership with their advertisers. So if you click on some of our videos, you notice that there are ads. You know, there are ads that are, there are, ads that are uh, presented. And, and, and uh, we have ads 
in commercials now that have been attached to our video. Why? Because we are a popular YouTube channel. We have become a, we have reached that popularity threshold where they now share the ad revenue. You all will be able to do the same thing because you will have direct access to our videos and you can download them as if you own them and you write Do that also to help build your to build uh, your franchisee. So uh, we think it's good. Uh, I like it. I'm right on. All right. Enough said. Q and A. Q and A. Let's have some questions. Let's have some questions. Let's have some questions. Everybody talk to me. Questions, uh, concerns. Um, so now it's time. Hey, Calvin. This is Sir, Sir Jonathan again. Uh, I'm in Long Beach, California, and I'm living by the ports. That's most of where our. Uh, Ooh, well, you got. To, well, you said on gold mine. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to use it. Or locate them. Or I, I don't know how to recognize those types of freights in. No. Uh, Okay. Uh, Charles. Charles, are you there? Yeah. Charles, Charles. All right. That man said he in Long Beach, California, sitting next to a whole bunch of ports. <laughs> oh, he can. Uh, he probably can get a power only truck up in there, grab some containers. Yeah. Look. Um. Look. You can do uh. You can do drop trailers. You can do throwaways. Um, I mean, not throwaways, tollways, tollways. They do tollways. Tollways and block trailers, power only containers with the chassis. Yeah. Um, he, he can do empty container moves. He can do empty container moves. You would have to get in contact with, uh, I guess, the local port authority and see what's going on, um, because it varies between different um, states. Um, but yeah, con consider power onlys, consider tollways and drop trailers. Um, in that regard, when you're going after um, okay. the uh, port. Would that be something I would learn in, in, in Charles Monday training? Uh, that, with, that too, or if you're able to think outside the box. Let, let's try something. I've never tried it, but let's try something. Let's okay. Try something. Let's do a little thing outside the box. Okay? Let's do a little thing outside the box. Y'all just stay with me here for a moment. See, 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 see this kind of stuff that I you know, I do this all the time, and, I, and I'm glad you brought this up because it's giving it's giving me a, giving me an idea. You sometimes you have to think outside of the normal mainstream, okay? All right, and the reason why you want to do that because you want to be able to um, hold on here. You want to be able to um, experiment with stuff sometimes. Sometimes you want to. Think outside the mainstream. Y'all see what I'm doing? Y'all see what I'm doing?
Okay. Are oh, we back? We had a we had a break in our uh, <laughs> we had a break okay, in man. our yeah okay great we had a break in our uh, what's call it here real quick and I do apologize uh, okay let's try something what I was trying was I was going to our uh, to our sick hole site I was I was trying to see if I could pull up the ports okay. Uh, and, and that's what I meant by thinking outside the box. I was kind of trying to think, uh, what, what, what would it be, ports of authority? Right? All right, here we go. Uh, no product for ports of authority. Port authority, uh, Q&A images, church port authorities, port authorities, port authorities, port authorities. Let's try something here. There might be a way you can look that up on your sick hole site. Is everyone following me? Hello? Yes. Okay, make sure y'all flew with me. Uh, let's see here. Let's try ports. All right, here we go. Product for ports. Uh, well, portable barriers. Eh, nah. It's not pulling up. I can't pull up ports. I guess I can only pull up. I can only put in a product on the zip code. So I can't put up an actual location. Well, right, hold up. Let's go. Let's switch over to company name. All right. What's the name of the? Is it? And what is it? The California um, Port Authority. Uh. Yeah, you want like a terminal name? <laughs> yeah, Charles. All right. Long Beach. Okay, all right, because the reason why I'm not saying this here, the sick code site, let me explain to you all what a sick, sick code site is, S-I-C, okay? A sick code site is every company that ships some type of product, okay? If you are operating in the United States, you pay taxes. Every company that ships some type of product and, and you pay taxes, you must register with the federal government's sick code site, okay? And you're able to pull up, and usually we have to set on products and services because that's what you all look for. You know, that's what it mainstream what it looks for. So we usually have it set on. When you click on to the one in our back office, we have it already preset for products and services. So when you go in search, you're looking for products, you know, for the different type of stuff that's being shipped, you know, like produce or whatever it may be. If you're looking for a company, you can just click on to where it says company. Now, Charles just posted something that can help you out with that, too. Uh, but if you switch over to a company, I'm trying to find a see if you can use what we already have in our back office to locate those authorities and give you all the contact information where you can actually see if it will allow you to send them information like you do with your product. When you're looking for a shipper. You understand? So let's see what, let's see what happens with that. So let's say uh, I'm going to put Port Authority. And see if it pulls up anything. Ah, I'll be there. <laughs> All right, y'all see what I just did? That's what I mean by thinking outside the box. You look at, and I guess this comes from actually knowing what's in your back office and knowing what a sick code site is and, and things like that. All right, so. Here it is right here. Houston Authority, um, we got the Port Authority of New York, Port Authority, there, there they are. <laughs> okay, so, so, so there they are. And let's see if you, um, Port Authority of San Antonio, let's just click on some things and see what they provide for you. They provide for you all the contact information, okay, like you, like you do with your product, same thing. Um, they provide for you a way to, um, what 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 no what they're charging on average or what what's you no know, what's what people will pay on average to have stuff shipped out of there. I would imagine because they're closed now, but usually when these things are oh, um let's say is this your company, uh recommended suppliers, um uh recommended uh, suppliers, um additional products and local. But yeah, there you go. To get a free quote, 
we got the free they got, they got the free quote now here. If you're shipping out of that, you know, if you're shipping out of that um, port or whatever the case may be, uh, consulting services management. Click here to select a product. I guess they don't have that on there. Consulting management. But there we go. There it is. Click on the consulting management. You can go in and you can put in your name, put in your company name. You can put your title or your function, your email address, your phone number, your city, a primary use. Um, please select the state, um, your website. You can attach. Now, this is what you're looking for. You can attach, I guess, your company's profile or your carrier's profile or your carrier's package. And you can type in down here what you want to type into them, and you hit send, and then someone will contact you and give you the information you're looking for as far as how you can run stuff out of the port. Does that answer your question? Does that satisfactorily answer your question? Hello? Yeah, uh, to be honest, I got cut off, so I, I missed that. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's go back. All right. What we did was this. Okay. I went to the back office. All right. I went to the back office, and we went to our, you know, search 19 million shippers. Because I know that this is a sick code site. Okay. And look, if you read this, standard industrial classification sick system. Okay. System search allows the user to search 19 million plus domestic shippers. Now, understand that we have this set normally for products and services. Okay? Gotcha. So that's what y'all normally go in and look for, products and services. But you can also click on where it says company name. Okay? And I just put in, you know, Port Authority to see if it will pull up Port Authorities. Right? And look what happened. Bam. <laughs> there are your port authorities. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Right on time. Exactly. Right on time. There are your port authorities. Now, we also went ahead and said, well, let's try this. Uh, I'm going to use a different one this time. Let's try Vancouver. You see, Florida. Um, let's try the one for Florida. Oh, let's, well, let's try the one for, for California. That's, that. uh, that's what you were talking about, right? In Palo Alto, right? Yeah. All right, well, let's try that. Look at that. Gives you all the contact information, right? Right? Gives you a quick, you know, representation of, you know, what normally goes out of there and what it pays and whatever this is and that. And down here, you can click where it says, look, uh, click here to select a product. You select your product, or whatever you're going to select, for well, a quick quote. Look what it does. Takes you over. Because mostly what they, it tells you that mostly what they send out of there is computers, uh, peripherals, software, uh, um, wholesale, anti-static equipment, and devices, uh, you know, um, companies. So that's California. <laughs> hey, you, you, you down there, Silicon Valley, you know, that type of stuff. All right? But look, you can go ahead and you can, you, you can, you can submit your name, your company's name, um, your title and function, your email address, your phone number, um, the city, uh, your primary uh, uh, shipping destinations or places you want, you know, that, that, that you ship to primarily, okay? You can come in here also, you can put, you can select your state. Uh, website address of the company or, or government agency or whoever you are. You got a little browse button for you to do what? Attach your, you know, broker profile or your company profile or your carrier profile or your carrier uh, package or whatever it is, right? You can attach that. You can come down here and you can type in, you know, whatever you want to type into them and you hit send. And then someone will contact you to discuss what you are inquiring about. Does it get any better than that? Right on time. All right. So that's what I mean by learning to think outside the box. Our platform is really built right with everything you need. 
it, it really does. But you still got to be able to go in and, 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 and kind of, you know, refer to your own devices as, and, and, and think outside the box, you know, some, you know sometimes, okay? Um, 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 you know, now, did I know that that would happen? No. But when he mentioned it, my brain automatically started thinking outside the box. And he was asking, where can they go? I said, hold up. If a sick code site, you got to start doing some, some analytical thinking. If a sick code site can give you all the shippers, why wouldn't they give you all the ports? <laughs> right? So, um, yeah. but anyway, that's how our platform works. <laughs> Uh, now, remember, when you go into the back office, I've got, well, it's just probably on my computer, but make sure that you, if you're commonly, if you're searching for products, make sure you click the product uh, on the, uh, on the sick code site, if it's, because we normally have it set for, we normally have it set for products, but we've been playing with it here, and since I have the, the, the computer where all this was put together at, it may change it for you all too. So I'm going to click products and services again. But if you need to search for a port or a particular company, or you know, you can click company name and, like I said, port authority, and it pulls up all the ports. There you go. All right. So um, next question, real quick. I can't do a whole lot because I got to get over to the uh, uh, FedEx place to pick up that part that they misdelivered. Next question, next question, next question. Any more questions? Any more questions? Any more questions? I just got a quick question. Today? I, uh, no, uh, we're going to be doing the people L probably tomorrow, okay? Uh, we'll probably do the people L tomorrow. Or I may do it on Monday, you know, since everybody's off. Okay. Since everybody's off, there'll be no excuse for y'all not tuning in. So we're probably going to do it on Monday. Um, we're going to, oh, that reminds me, we're going to be setting up a schedule for different stuff at different times. All right, we're gonna be doing okay. spot training. I'm, 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 I, Charles, I've been watching you. <laughs> Sometimes I come in on your spot training on the. Uh, you, you, you've you ever seen that thing said um, uh, 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 private? That's me. <laughs> 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 and, 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 who that? Who's private? He'll never say nothing. That's me. Sometimes I just be watching. Pri just, private, anonymous. Yeah, I just be listening. <laughs> I just be watching and listening. But. We're going to be uh, taking a, a cue from Charles Michael. We're going to try to do some spot training, and we're going to have different days uh, in what it's going to be done on. It's going to be set times, like, say, on Mondays at 2 o'clock, we'll do spot training for the people at L Corporation. On Tuesdays at 7, 7, 7, we'll do spot training for um, 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 how to find uh, um, carriers. On Wednesdays, we'll do spot training for people at L on how to, how to, uh, how to increase your um uh, Form, how can we increase your, your, your parts request uh, forms, your parts request to parts order the ratio on Wednesday, you know, different stuff like that, okay? On Wednesday and Thursday, we may have spot training on, you know, and spot training is not going to be more than about a half hour to 40 minutes long. It's going to be real quick spot training, but it's going to be on certain subjects, on certain aspects of the industry, okay? So we're going to have that. Sure. Now, when True. you record it, just in case we can't make the appointment time and we can make it be, at a later time? Yeah, yeah, all will be recorded. It'll all be recorded, and it'll be on our uh, YouTube channels, and I know we've been kind of lax on transferring stuff over from the YouTube channel over to the back of the site, but we're going to be, uh, we've already assigned some interns, we're going to be assigning some interns to handle just that, uh, moving the recordings over from there into the sites. So we're putting another um, task Onto the intern, um, 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 onto the the intern um, um, test site for the universities um, that we use. And that's going to be one of the tasks that they one of the tasks that they perform. So, but they will be recorded and they will be put on our site. Why? Because they're going to bring us revenue. You know, all those little spot trainings. A lot of people tune in, and our our videos on average get watched about an hour and a half. That's unheard of for YouTube videos. Most YouTube, unless it's a movie or something or a show, but most YouTube videos, they don't get the kind of, you know, people don't tune in for an hour and a half. You know, 70% of the people who watch our videos on YouTube stay tuned in for an hour and a half, man. 
It's not a long viewership. So advertisers love that. So that's why we make the kind of money we make from our YouTube viewership. From our I'm going to leave it because I've done it. Yeah. So there you go. And, but we make money from our YouTube uh, monetization now. Why? Because advertisers, they have, they're, they have you all, you all are, are, are a captive audience for on average an hour and a half. So the, the advertisers who advertise in our videos, they pay us a higher rate. We actually now are getting 55% of the ad revenue that's generated by our viewerships. That's a lot of money. But it is a lot of money. <laughs> okay, so, uh, you know, I love you too. All right, that's why we, you know, we do a lot of the videos. That's why we too. So those our slots. Really be 25% of the ad share, Okay, sorry about that. Uh, my sister keeps, keeps kicking me out, so we're gonna we're gonna um, bring this to a close for but today. I guess I guess I guess the guys over at Free Conference Call, I guess they want to go get, um, they want to go barbecue too. Uh, <laughs> but but the system uh, the system keeps kicking me out, so uh, you all can still hear me, you can still see me. But we're going to go ahead and, and, and bring this show close. It's time for us to go in away. But um, because the system keeps kicking me out, so we're going to go ahead and, and take that as an excuse to go ahead and wrap it up. Thank you all again for joining us um, for our Booking Freight from Home show, Six Figures uh, Booking Freight from Home. Hope you all got a lot out of it. No problem. Thank you very much. We really uh, appreciate you all. I hope you all got a lot out of today's um, uh, um, 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 show. We, we, we do this because we are dead serious about you all becoming successful logistics entrepreneurs. And if, if you are a broker out there and you're watching this or you're going to be watching this, uh, take heed in what I say. This network is a money, it, it's a gold mine for you as a broker. Okay? Because if each one of our dispatchers only amass, you know, three members, three contracted carriers each, we've got over 1,900 plus. Independent dispatch. <laughs> That's a gold miner for you. And they are all operating legally, which means they are not infringing upon your sovereign area of operation. They don't post loads. They only come to you all and look for your loads, and they get their carriers to book your loads. Now, if that ain't <laughs> that's how <it>. Charles. <laughs> I mean, Charles. What you got to feel about that? I mean, if that ain't, if that's not a gift to you, I don't know what else is. Okay. 
you know, I mean, we 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 couldn't be doing you a you know a greater service. Yeah, and, and 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 you know, so join our platform, man. It's only three hundred forty nine dollars ninety five cent, you know, to join, and it is thirty nine dollars ninety five cent per month. Uh, where else are you going to get access to that many independent dispatchers who have carriers that want to run your loads? With that, we're going to say that's it. Thank you all for joining us. I see you all here next weekend. Same back channel, same back time. We appreciate you all so, 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 so very much. Go to our website at mydispatcher.org, mydispatcher.org. Very first page, you'll see a video of myself. And just beneath that, you will see uh, the stuff that says to enroll. Click here. Enroll in our platform. Become a franchisee. You know, become a consultant. You know, we have all those opportunities available for you. Thank you all. Y'all have a great day.